Hello folks, the PlayStation 2 emulation performs extremely well on the Steam Deck, and we can play most of the PS2 titles at 3 times native resolution at 60fps, which looks like a free HD remastered game. So I decided to make a complete Emule Deck PlayStation 2 emulator setup guide. I hope this will be the only guide that you need to play your favorite PS2 games on the Steam Deck. This is an in-depth video and I have broken it into several chapters as shown on the screen, so you can skip to any chapters that you are interested in. By the way, I have already made several similar emulation tutorials on my channel for PS3, Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo 3DS. If you are interested in any of those topics, please check out my channel. Let's jump into the PlayStation 2 emulator tutorial now. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover the Emu Deck PlayStation 2 emulation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emu Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emudeck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double-click on the Emudeck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop-up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more options to set up the Emudeck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with emu decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by emu deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the PlayStation 2 emulator, which is called PC SX2 since I only cover PlayStation 2 emulation in this video. But you can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. I will leave everything on for this page since Emudeck has already done all the configurations so we can take advantage of this. The auto save feature is not available for 3DS emulator, so I will turn this off here. I don't want to be a member of Retro Achievement, so just click skip here. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. I would like to set up my 3D games at 16x9 screen ratio and keep the 2D games at 4x3. You can pick any emulation station theme here. I personally like the RB simple style. Then click Next. On this page, I don't want to install any homebrew, so I will just select No here. The Emu Deck now starts processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click Exit. Now we have completed the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original Emu Deck installer is now changed to Emu Deck Access icon on the desktop. That's all for the Emu Deck installation. After we have the Emu Deck installed on the Steam Deck, now we need to set up the PS2 BIOS files. First, we need to go to this website and download the BIOS files. I already have it linked under the video description. You can either download the BIOS file from your Steam Deck directly, as I did here, or download them from your PC and then copy them into your Steam Deck. After the downloading process is finished, we can simply double click on the zip file to extract it. Then double click the extracted folder and select all the files inside this folder and select cut. Then go to emulation BIOS folder on your Steam Deck SD card and paste all the files into the BIOS folder. The BIOS setup is pretty easy. That's all we need to do for the BIOS setup. Before we begin this part, just keep in mind that the Steam Deck SD card cannot be read on a Windows PC or a Mac. You can either download the games from your PC 
and then copy them into the Steam Deck, as I usually do. Or you can use your Steam Deck to download the games directly. Especially for PS2 games, they are relatively small compared to the PS3 games. It will be fine to download them directly onto your Steam Deck. So I used this USB flash drive to transfer all my game ROMs into the Steam Deck from my PC. As you can see, I have 4 PS2 ROMs on this USB flash drive. I will copy all those 4 games and paste them into the Steam Deck SD card location, as shown on the screen. Make sure your ROMs are pasted into the correct folders here, otherwise you will not able to play the game correctly. It will take a while to copy this game over since I had 4 games here, but once all games are copied over, we can now close this window. And unplug the USB flash drive. The next step we need to do is to bring the PS2 games into the Steam OS gaming mode interface. So every time we boot up the Steam Deck, PS2 games will show up in our Steam OS library. To do this, we need to click the Emu Deck icon on the desktop and then click To and Stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop-up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the Emu Deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. Since we only deal with the PS2 games, so I will only enable the PlayStation 2 PC SX2. Then we can click Save button on the bottom left side. Then we need to click on the Preview button from the top left corner. Then click Generate App List from the bottom of the screen. We can now see all the PS2 games that I just copied show up here. Also, we can change the game album picture from here. But for now, we can just click Save App List button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. Let's boot up the Dragon Ball game from here directly. The best feature of the Emu Deck, in my opinion, is that it allows us to access all the emulation games from Steam OS interface directly. This is just so convenient. That's all for how to add in the ISO games into the Steam Deck. In the next chapter, I will talk about how to change the screen ratio, game visual improvement, and fast forward speed feature. Those are really important for PS2 emulation. Let's set up the widescreen hack first. The widescreen hack is pretty useful for old PS2 games that were designed for 4x3 screen ratio TV. With the widescreen hack, it will stretch the game into the ultra-wide mode without black bars on top and bottom. And they actually fill the whole screen and maintain the aspect ratio, which is way better than 16x9 screen ratio by just stretching the picture. To set up the widescreen hack, first go to the start menu, then all applications. We need to look for PC SX2, which is the PS2 emulator. Just click and open the software. If an update window pops up, please process the software update first. This is the full screen mode of the emulator, but we can switch to desktop mode by simply click the button on the top right corner. Once in the desktop mode, navigate to the settings from the top menu and select emulation, making sure to check the box in front of enable cheats. Then move to the graphics tab and check the box in front of Enable Widescreen Patches. That's all the setup we need to do. Many PS2 games had widescreen support built in, like Resident Evil 4. All you need to do is to turn on the widescreen feature under the game setting. That is all for this part. Now let's set up the game visual improvement. This is before visual improvement setup, 
and this is after. The game visual improvement setup will make the game looks like HD remastered. Before we start, I want to show you how to display the game list on the bottom area of the emulator. Just go to the view menu from the top and click the game list, so we can see all our PS2 games that are on our system now. Ok, now let's start the setting. First, go to the settings and select graphics. Select rendering tab and change the internal resolution to 3 times. Most of the PS2 games will run at 60 FPS even with 3 times native resolution. Then go to anisotropic filtering and select 8 times. Next, go to the post processing tab. Check the FXAA box. Then check the shader boost and make sure to increase the saturation level. 70 is my preferred level. That's all we need to do for the visual improvement. The fast forward feature will allow us to speed up the game at any time. It is pretty handy. So first go to the settings, then emulation. Under fast forward speed, we need to change to unlimited. Then we need to switch back to the gaming mode. Make sure the frame rate limit is off under the quick access menu. Then if I put into a game, after I press the select button and R2 button together, it will switch between the normal speed and fast forward speed. That's all for how to enable the fast forward feature. In this part, I will include some useful hotkeys that we can use anytime during the gameplay. They are pretty handy. That's everything for the PlayStation 2 emulation guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I have already done PlayStation 3, Nintendo Switch, and 3DS emulation tutorial on this channel. My next emulation guide will be for the Xbox 360. Please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.